Kabimia Finance Company Limited has revealed that lack of access to finance affects business growth negatively. Speaking at a press briefing held in Abuja, the chairman, Kabimia Finance Company Limited, revealed that their mission is to empower clients to achieve their financial goals and also secure their financial future. One of the, one of the things that uh, affects business growth is lack of access to finance. That's the key thing that affects business growth. When you don't have that, especially for small business people, let's take an example, say someone who is into uh, maybe textile business and maybe he or she is requiring or requesting to expand his or her business and seeking for something like, like a stop gap fund, say maybe about five million there, just give that just a hypothetical example. Now what and we are available to provide that stop gap. That's one of the key opportunities we have. You can easily access us down the bank itself. We have that easy access. The difference is that our charges are, are, are still smaller, but it's compounded monthly. You understand that? Now, what it means is that you cannot get your 5 million error, and if you know your business, we'll do a risk analysis for you, as said by the MD. We'll do that to advise, not only just giving you because we're looking at the interest, but we'll be able to advise you to say, look, what you are going into, this is what you are likely to be paying at the end of this. Are you open to it? Oftentimes, because of uh, uh, people's uh, maybe quest to get things done, they don't look at those negatives or the impact or the effect of that on the long run. So it's always good for you to let them know that this is likely effect in the long run. So we'll provide that advice, and if the person is willing, we dispose this. One, we are we, we not too stringent in terms of collateral. Well, of course, we must secure our funds too, because it's one of the requirements from the central bank. We are giving you one error, we must secure it. And there must be a security. And some of our security are those that are easily compatible. So those are the ones that probably might make it easier for SMEs to uh, access. So our, our benchmark is a minimum of 4%. Yes, but let me just say, uh, we won't uh, go too much into uh, the Naira side, we're talking about floating. You see, when you have an economy that is not regulated, there are no policies, they make it a free for all uh, business. It means that there's no control. And now you see the microeconomic effect of what it has happened in the last uh, less than 60 days. What has happened in terms of uh, uh, inflation, not only on the inflation, you look at the of standard of living, livelihood, you can see the implication of some of this. And this has a lot of, when there are some assault, policy some assaults that do not actually give a direction as how to, uh, how an economy should, should, an economy should be driven. And we should have the drivers of the economy who will be able to point the direction of how it should go. But now that it's free for all, everybody regulates. It is, it is, it is the forces of uh, the market, demand and supply, that determines now the exchange rate. I can decide to hold, probably hold that, decide to hold and release when I know there is a heavy demand. And that means that I will be selling it at a premium. However, comfort are kicked against irregulation of black markets. But the Buried Exchange is actually a very wonderful market that any other person can key into. Now, if the government could do what they need to do, I think the, the, the rates currently in the market will come down. Because we have a lot of black market that um, it's, it's been really, it's really, really, really terrible with the black market. But if it's properly regulated, I feel the market rate would crash seriously compared to what it is now. It's just, it has loose guard. It's just going higher and higher and higher every day. So